Hi guys, in this lecture I just want to illustrate a specific problem or scenario so there's nothing to memorize, um, there's no definitions yet so just listen, sit back and relax and listen to this company's um, scenario. So we've got a company that makes bikes, they make their own engines and then they fit it to the frame and the wheels etc that they also make themselves and then they sell it to the customers. So let's assume the engine costs a thousand per unit to make the rest of the bike, that's the frame, the wheels, the tank, uh, the seat, all the controls, that costs 2000 And then they can sell it to outside customers for 6000 So we can quickly calculate the profit per bike. So we've got a selling price of 6000 We've got the cost of the engine. That's 1000 We've got the cost of the rest of the bike, the frame, etc. That's 2000 So the company makes a profit of 3000 per bike. Yeah, happy. Now let's say this is a big company and we, the company split into two divisions. So we've got an engine division and we've got the bike division. So the engine division only makes the engines and then they transfer it to the bike division and the bike division makes the, the rest of the bike and then they fit the engine that they received from the, the engine division and they sell it then to the outside customers. So the costs stay the same and the selling price is still the same. Now, each of these divisions will be run by a manager. And the managers need to be motivated, the managers need to be, the performance of the managers need to be evaluated. So let's see how would we look at the performance of the managers? So in the engine division, the manager will be responsible for the cost. So there's a thousand per unit, but they don't earn any revenue. They just transfer it within the company to another division. So the, the manager of the engine division will never be able to make a profit. And that will be very demotivating. And there might even be the possibility of selling engines outside and how this manager would, would want to earn some income in order to improve his performance. What about the bike division? So the bike division, the only cost for the bike division is the 2000 to make the frames, etc., the frame, the, the wheels, etc. And they earn all the revenue on the full bike, which includes the engine from the engine division. So the, the bike division's profit would be the 6000 less the cost of 2000, which is 4000. Whereas the engine division makes a loss of a thousand. So this is hardly fair um, for if we look at the manager of the engine division. So how do we solve this? How do we get to motivate the different managers? And how do we get them to make um, the right decisions? And if we compare the bike division to a company that makes bikes or the engine division to a company that makes engines, how do we... Uh, get meaningful information to evaluate the performance of that specific division.